Hello, Blade Riders. Welcome to another episode of Dread Skates. Let me ask you, what do you think makes a good riding glove? Is it the style, the quality, the materials, the level of protection? So today we're gonna to be taking a look at Alien Ride's latest entry into that market with the Alien Ride's armored Kevlar gloves. You know what, I'm not, I'm not gonna call it that. I'm just gonna call these the Alien Skin gloves from now on. All right, roll it. Yeah, no, no, we're not doing that. You guys all know what gloves are. Let, let's just get straight into the review here. Talking about quality first and foremost here, Alien Rides really has hit the ground running with not one, but actually two separate types of actual premium leather here. It's soft, it's much more flexible, and it's gonna wear a lot more over time, giving you more kind of flexible grip. And then on the palm here, they've gone with kind of like a rawhide finished cut which will be a little bit more hard wearing, also offer more protection in a crash. Talking about the protection itself, they've gone with a slightly different route here than most of the other manufacturers, which will either go with like the studs or like the, the Knox or Delrin kind of pucks in there. They've gone with what I'm terming the protective spike, which if you can see it there is kind of an arched hump, which is designed to kind of spread and impact out over your palm instead of like directly onto like your wrist or your fingers. On top of the stylish logo, there's actually a full Velcro wrap here, which helps isolate your wrist, but does not have any additional padding or armor. As you may have guessed from the name of these gloves, they feature a Kevlar lining on the base there, which helps with crash protection in addition to the leather outers. And I think that also just kind of looking at it from a design perspective, it should also help with one of the main problems with a lot of other gloves that I see, and that it's keeping your hands pronated and your fingers up. I've been in a couple of crashes and one of the main problems that I've had is that if you hit at a certain angle, your fingers are gonna get sucked under it too and dragged. It's good to see all of these features integrated here. Real quick, I just, I, I gotta do this. I do this with all of my e-skate gloves that come in like this. Much better. Since we're talking about features, let's get into some of the ones that the Alien Skins have. Right off the bat, most notably, is that they've actually added capacitive pads to both the, uh, what's that, pointer? Yeah, it's your pointer finger and your thumb there. Honestly, in practice, this was kind of hit or miss. It was working about 60% of the time when I was using it with my phone to kind of test it out. So it's not perfect, but in a pinch when you need to pull your phone out and answer a call or close out an app or open the camera or something, it should work. And it's also just a nice feature to have in general as opposed to not. Also, in addition to the palm protection there, we also have reinforced knuckle guards as well. So if you land at an odd angle or on your side, you'll have additional reinforced protection there as well. And the cute little alien head watching you bleed out on the sidewalk. Can't forget about that feature. Also, they come in purple. So 10 out of 10 in my book immediately for that. So you guys didn't come here for the full safety briefing and rundown on these gloves. You guys want to know how these perform out in the wild with the menagerie of remotes I showed off in the thumbnail there. Just to keep things super simple, I'm just going to try each one of these remotes once, see how it feels in the hand, and give it a rating of 1 through 5, with 1 being would not recommend and 5 being molded to my hand by God himself. Alright, let's get into it. Starting off simple with the Ling Yi. This gets a 2 out of 5. Hobby Wing. Honestly, 4 out of 5. X-Way Hobby Wing. 3 out of 5. White Puck. 1 out of 5. Clip Sky, 3 out of 5. Hans Ryan X, 2 out of 5. All right, now we're getting to the weird stuff. Arcboard SEV Remote, 1 out of 5. Hoyt Puck Adapter, 3 out of 5. And lastly, Maytech V2, 5 out of 5. All right, there you have it. Now that we've gone through that and you've gotten my initial impressions on these remotes and how they fit, I'm really curious to know what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments. And hey, if you made it this far, Think about subscribing and turning on notifications or just leave a like down there. Every little bit helps. So final thoughts on the alien skin gloves. Should you get a pair for yourself? Well, that kind of depends. If you're getting these for e-skate and odds are if you're watching this video, you're probably a skater. That's a good portion of my audience. Honestly, I would say no. 
These I think could be made to work a little bit better with adding like some grip or filing this uh, spike down a little bit. But honestly, as is out of the box, they're a little stiff and it's kind of hard to grip most remotes with them. So in that sense, it's not a great e-skate glove. Now, that said, if you're like myself and you have a variety of PEBs or you're watching this and you're a one-wheeler or an EUC rider or scooter rider, e-bikes, whatever, uh, then yes, actually, I would recommend the Alien Skin gloves. These are going to offer as good or better protection than most other gloves. They also have the armor knuckles there to prevent reverse fall damage. So yeah, these are a solid contender, I would say. That's just my thoughts. Again, let me know what you guys think. And if you wanna support the channel and pick a pair of these up for yourself, I'll have a link for that down in the description. Until next time, stay safe out there, Blade Riders. Peace.